The Dancing Girl is a prehistoric bronze sculpture from the Indus Valley Civilization city of Mohenjo-Daro, made using the lost wax casting technique around circa 2600 to 1900 BC in modern-day Pakistan. This statue stands at 10.5 centimeters, 4.1 inches, and depicts a young, nude woman with stylized ornaments standing in a natural pose with one hand on her hip. She wears 24 to 25 bangles on her left arm, four bangles on her right, and a necklace with three big pendants. Her long hair is styled in a bun resting on her shoulder. The statue was excavated in 1926 by British archaeologist Ernest Mackay. The statue is now in the National Museum, New Delhi, having been allocated to India during the partition of India in 1947. The dancing girl is one of two bronze figures found at Mohenjo-Daro that show more flexible features when compared to other more formal poses. British archaeologist Mortimer Wheeler, who saw the statue in 1973, described it as perfectly confident of herself and the world. Archaeologist Gregory Possel described the dancing girl as the most captivating piece of art from an Indus site and qualified the description of her as a dancer by stating that we may not be certain that she was a dancer, but she was good at what she did and she knew it. The American Indus Valley Civilization specialist Jonathan Kenoyer reads the figure as a woman carrying an offering rather than a dancer. The statue led to two important discoveries about the civilization. First that they knew metal blending, casting, and other sophisticated methods, and secondly that entertainment, especially dance, was part of the culture. The bronze girl was made using the lost wax casting technique and shows the expertise of the people in making bronze works during that time. A similar bronze statuette was found at Mohenjo-Daro but with inferior craftsmanship, and this second bronze female figure is displayed at the National Museum of Pakistan. After excavation in 1926, the dancing girl and other finds were initially deposited in the Lahore Museum but later moved to the Archaeological Survey of India headquarters at New Delhi. The new Pakistani authorities requested the return of the Mohenjo-Daro pieces excavated on their territory. But the Indian authorities refused to return back the Mohenjo-Daro pieces. Eventually, an agreement was reached whereby the fines were split equally between the two countries. Pakistan asked for and received the priest-king figure, while India retained the dancing girl. <laughs>